G'day guys, it's Nick from Hobby King again. Um, now some of you may have already seen Matt building uh, the Tronsky X3. It's got a really good instruction book um, and Matt managed to build it in four or five hours, was it Matt? Something like that. Um, so put aside an afternoon on a weekend, um, rainy day, sit down and build it yourself. First of all, let's go through what's included. The first thing to notice is it comes with a power supply um, with an LCD screen with uh, full control on there. And the, the functions are pretty straightforward. Um, if you, you just basically scroll through, click buttons, and you'll find the functions you need. So you can operate the whole uh, 3D printer from there. Um, the other thing is you can connect it through uh, USB cable if you want, or you can just load your files straight from SD card if you don't want to tether to, comp to your computer. You've got twin Z screws with a nice thick thread on them uh, to give you good accuracy. Um, you've got a heated plate. One of the cool things about the heated plate as well is it does have a self-leveling function. Just if you have a look here, when I press it, the little light goes on. Now, if that was printing, that would be adjusting the level of the bed as it goes along. The beauty of that is you don't have to um, constantly level your bed every time you go to do a print. Um, it's pretty well done for you. It is a Bowden tube feed, um, so you're not going to be able to print TPU with this, but everything else, PLA, um, ABS, polycarbon if you want to do it, um, will print really well on this. But there is a mod you can do to, um, to print directly above. Um, so you basically mount your uh, feed motor onto here and, and feed directly in. That'll allow you to do TPU, but we'll go into that later uh, at a later date. Um, it comes with a reel holder um, and uh, everything else you need to, to put it together. So it's pretty straightforward. Now, a couple of things that um, we discovered when we we're putting it together. On the bracket here, we had a problem with the um, screw getting pulled through. Um, so we just put a nylon uh, washer underneath there. You could use anything. As long as it's wider than the head of the screw, um, any sort of washer is gonna do uh, to go on there. It's an M4 screw from memory. So when Matt was building this, he noticed that there was a lot of wobble in this bed. Now, he's evened that out pretty much. Um, that is good enough to do printing on at the moment. You can sort of see there's a bit still there, but it's good enough. Um, we'll just go through and show you the mod that, uh, that um, Matt and Nick worked out together. To show you that, we're just gonna remove these four screws uh, so you can see the plate underneath. So basically what you need to do is slot these holes here so that you can move this screw slightly closer to this rail here. Um, it's not much, we're talking you know, half a mil to a mil on each side, um, just so that you can push these screws over and it means that the wheels underneath come closer to this, come closer to this rail here um, because they were just a little bit too loose in there. They needed to be a bit more snug in there. But it's a really simple job. It's literally one or two minutes with a file um, just to open that hole up a bit and move the screws across. Just with those two simple mods, this becomes a rock solid little printer. Um, and it's not that little, it's got a very big footprint, uh, around right about 200 by 300. There's a lot of prints you're gonna be able to do on this printer. Um, so for a second printer, this is ideal. Um, if you wanted to learn to build a printer, it's a good project as well. And at this price, well, you can buy two. I have two projects going at one time. So that's it, that's the, X, the Tronsky X3. Um, have a look at it on the website. The links for the product are down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great products, tips and tricks. See you next time.